Uh, now to a uh, top-of-the-table clash in the Barclays Premier League. Not many West Brom fans would have thought we'd be saying that when the fixture list threw up a mid-October trip to Old Trafford. But a win today at United, and they'd go above them as you can see. No wonder Roberto Di Matteo is so popular with those Baggies fans. You're so rare, so fine. Fans for this evening? I'm concerned. <laughs> Please welcome the manager of West Bromwich Albion, Roberto Di Matteo. <laughs> We've all heard you like a uh, crafty cigarette after the game, so if we beat Man United, are you going to get the cigars out this weekend? <laughs> Keep your feet on the ground, yeah? <laughs> Before we started the Barclays Premier League, um, you know, I spoke to the players and I just said, look, uh, we have a very tough start and let's just, if we lose, let's just try and put it into perspective and not get too depressed. And if we win, we'll do the same, so that we, we try to be balanced about it. When you looked at the fixture list, did you... Mentally, I can't, say, I can't say I can't say yeah. what I thought, but uh, <laughs> no I expletives. I certainly wasn't uh, overly uh, happy. Your first game in the Premier League, where are you gonna go? You're gonna go to the Champions. <laughs> you have to feel for Roberto Di Matteo. Welcome back to the Big Boys League. It was tough, you know. The week after was very, very difficult because it could have gone either way. And uh, I have to say, my players, uh, generally last season as well, they've always responded very well after defeat. They are, we learned quickly from our mistakes and uh, we, we became a, a better team. The baggies are ahead at Arsenal. More experienced managers, uh, they told me that you look at the fixture list and you kind of throw it away because you look at the, yeah, maybe this game we can win or maybe here it's difficult, you, you can't really know, you don't, you're not going to get anything out of it. And, and then, the opposite happens. It's Arsenal nil, West Brom and Albion three. Whoever would have seen that scoreline coming. I've got to say, lovely turning over the cockneys. You must have loved it. <laughs> I think time will tell how, how special it was. Um, it was definitely good to get three points. We draw the confidence that we can be competitive this year and the belief that we can go to any ground, really, and try and, and win the games. How pleased have you been with the style of football that you've shown this season as well? That's for the people to judge. I, I just try to, to win games and uh, I always said that if I need to be ugly and win games in an ugly way, I'll be prepared to do that, you know. Um, but because people at the end of the day, they like winning teams and winning players. How do you kind of deal with the volatility and the fickle nature of football? Um, we go to church and pray every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> as simple as that. <laughs> As a manager, you can't have long-term plans. I know exactly that if I bring results, then uh, I will have opportunities. If I don't bring results, then uh, I'll be probably replaced. Oof, you want to be a fly in my office, sir, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough, tough league, you know. Uh, the moment you think uh, you're going to be safe, uh, you're going to get slapped around your face. So We're just going to keep working the way we've been doing, and I think uh, that's the only way forward. Well, my personal aim is to change the reputation of this club, you know, of being a yo-yo club. And that's going to take time and it's going to take a lot of hard work.